What's up people? As you can see, I'm back in my car. It's 25 degrees outside. I thought I'd come and uh, stick the air conditioning on. A little bit hot. Working out in this weather, it takes it out of you after a few hours. So yeah, just having a little bit of lunch and sitting chilling with the air conditioning on really. So scouring through Twitter a minute ago and scouring through Sky Sports, um, I see that we're no closer to signing anybody. I see that none of our players are any closer to leaving, the ones that need to leave, the likes of Debucci, Gibbs, even Lucas Perez, as much as I want him to stay, he is going to go, or hopefully he's going to go. Um, and if you add up all these players, Chambers is another one, Jenkinson, if you add up all the wages these players are taking out the club, it could actually fund a couple of players for weekly wages or monthly wages. So. Um, that's the reason for my video, really. We've got 16 days to go of the transfer window. We're no closer to shipping out any of these players. We've got about five or six players too many to go in the squad. I think we're sat on about 30 or 31 first-team players. And obviously, you can only have a squad of 25. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks, that's for sure. But I am getting slightly worried the fact that we aren't any closer to signing anybody. And... I don't know if any of you guys remember this, but about two and a half months ago, Arsene Wenger did an interview on Be In Sports, and he said that we'd be signing a maximum, a maximum of three players this summer. Well, we've already signed two of them. Um, obviously, Said Kalasinac and Alexander Lacazette. We we both already know they're absolute class. They've shown that in in pre-season and again at the um, on the Friday night game against Leicester City the, um, Lacazette scoring with his second touch of the game inside 90 seconds and Kalasinac well <laughs> what more needs to be said about him the guy's massive he's a unit exactly what we've needed in defence and he set up Danny Welbeck's goal so yeah really impressed with the two we've signed so far but we need more in my opinion I think we need two more at least um I think we should be going all out for Virgil van Dijk. I think the players I just listed a minute ago, if you if you offload them even for five, ten million pounds a pop, it all adds up. But not only does the, the money add up, it also saves on the wages, which then can pay the likes of Van Dijk, his weekly wage. Um, in my opinion, we should be throwing a couple of players, at least one player, maybe Callum Chambers um, and 50 million for Van Dijk. I think he's a fantastic defender. Um, I think he's exactly what Arsenal need. If you look at the defenders we've actually got, the centre-backs we've actually got, they're either over the hill, like Murta Saka, not good enough, like Gabriel, or inexperienced, like Rob Holding. And as we see against Leicester, he was torn to shreds by Jamie Vardy at times in that game. So I think we definitely, definitely need another centre-back. I think he fits the mould. I think he's fantastic. He's an absolute lump. He wants to head the ball away. He wants to get stuck in, and there won't be many uh, won't be many forwards in the league that are easing their way past him. So, I think that would be a fantastic signing for us. And I honestly don't know why we're not doing it. Maybe we are. Who knows? Um, let me know what you think about Van Dijk. Would you take him at Arsenal? Do you think he's what we need? Do you think he's good enough? Stick your comments down below on that one. Um, I'm going to move on to the second player. I think we should sign now, and that's Riyad Mahrez. A lot of hit and miss um, in terms of views on Riyad Mahrez from people that I've seen. A lot of people saying he goes missing, etc, etc. And a lot of people claiming he's world class. I'm in the world class camp. I think he's a fantastically gifted footballer. I think he proved that the season before last, when he won player of the season. Um, yes, you can throw the Jamie Vardy and Kante stats at me all day long. But he won player of the season that season in the team that won the league. So, you know, I, I personally think he gives us something different. He's massively skillful. In my opinion, we should be all in for these two. Um, I think that, like I said, if you get the players off the wage bill that we've got that are currently taking three, four, five hundred grand a week between them in wages, um, I think that pays for Mares. I think that pays for Van Dyke. And yes, the fees involved are going to be quite big. 
um, because of the calibre of the players, really. I mean, Van Dijk's not going to go for anything less than 60 million quid. So if you chuck Chambers in there, it's only going to cost, what, 40 million pounds. So add another 40, 45 for Mares, talking 80 million pounds. Add that to Lacazette. We've spent 120 million quid then. Just see what I mean? So... You know, get rid of some of these average players that shouldn't be here and all of a sudden you've actually only spent about 80 million quid if you buy them too. So, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, like I said, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm here all season. Loads of content coming, reviews, previews, etc. Any Arsenal players, leave the club. Um, and any signings. Not sure I'm going to be doing many videos on that one, but you never know. Um, smash the like button always helps me along my way lets me know you enjoy the content um, thanks for the love on the last video as well um, it's over 9,000 views now and leave your comments down below let me know what you guys think have a wonderful day layers